<clears throat> okay, we're gonna uh, want to create now uh, from uh, the certificate and uh, our private key, we're gonna want to create a PM file, uh, a single PM file that we will use in, uh, in our uh, web server, in our uh, PHP uh, files to connect to Apple push notification service. So uh, let's browse to uh, the folder that we saved on our certificates. As you recall, it's so, first of all, uh, open up your terminal window. And as you recall, we saved all, everything in our documents in a, in a folder called push notification message uh, CSR. So we're gonna go to this folder and let's uh, review the files we have there. Uh, we have our certificate signing request, which we use uh, to get uh, a certificate for our uh, SSL connection to Apple push notification service. So using this, we basically receive this, which is the certificate for our SSL connection. So we already use this, uh, and this is the mobile provisioning for our app, to utilize our app in, in, our, in our device. So we actually use this also, and this is the private key which we didn't use yet. So uh, we're gonna want to create uh, from our private key a PM file and from our certificate, uh, SSL certificate, a PM file and then combine those two PM to a single PM, PEM file which we later will use in a web server page uh, to connect to uh, APS. So uh, our first command will be uh, to create our uh, from our certificate file to create to convert our certificate file to a PEM for, format. So we're gonna uh, put this uh, command which uh, uses the uh, OpenSSL uh, library and it gets as an in parameter it gets the uh, SSL certificate the APS developer identity certificate and it uh, uh, creates a new file uh, which I'm gonna create a push notification message uh, cert uh, PEM file. So click enter and let's review the files again and we're gonna see that a new file is created uh, which is uh, like the name we specified earlier which is push notification message cert. So basically we converted our uh, certificate file we downloaded from Apple developer section to a PEM for format. Okay, so now uh, let's continue and try to convert the P, the private key, the P12 of the file with an ex P12 extension. We're gonna try to transform that file to a PEM file. So we're gonna do it uh, using the same OpenSSL library, and it's gonna get as an in parameter. It's gonna get the. Uh, our p12 file which we call push notification message dot p12 and it's gonna out a file called uh, which we gonna name push notification message key dot uh, pem so we're gonna click enter and it uh, asks us for our password uh, as you recall in uh, I think the first part of the tutorial we created uh, uh, the, the, the private and public key and we stated a password for the private key when we exported the key. So uh, the password I chose then was uh, knowledge dash share. And okay, it's verified. And now it asks us for our, a new password for the PM file. So I'm, good, I'm just gonna uh, uh, use the same password earlier and knowledge dash share and it's gonna ask for a verification for the password so, so type the password again okay so now let's again review the files we have in our folder uh, and you see another new file was created and uh, it's the push notification message key dot pm with, which is a private key in a pm for, format okay so uh, now we're gonna create our two PM files, and uh, uh, and pipeline them to a single file. Like create a single PM file which contains uh, the certificate and the uh, uh, private key uh, and the private key PM. 
a single PEM file, uh, which you might not understand now why we do it, but uh, when we go over our PHP uh, to create our SSL connection, uh, we're gonna need uh, to input there a single file. So this is why we, we create from our certificate and private key a single file. So we're gonna do it uh, using uh, basic uh, cat command, cat uh, prints on screen the file. So we're gonna cat uh, the certificate file, after that cat the notification message key file, and everything will not be outlined to the screen, rather we will uh, pipeline it to uh, a new file uh, that we will name as ck.pem. So when I click uh, enter key, and uh, let's review our files again, and you see a new file is created for us and it's the ck.pem file. So that file contains our certificate and our, our key.